In this lesson, we're going to have a look at the area rule. And this rule can be used to determine the area of any type of triangle. Just like the sin and the cos rule give us more options of calculations to do with angles and sides of triangles, the new area rule will give us a second option to determine the area of a triangle. Up to now, you've been using this formula to calculate the area of a triangle, a half times base times perpendicular height. But this formula requires that you have a perpendicular height in your triangle that you either already know or can calculate the length of. If you don't have this height or can't calculate it, you cannot use this formula. And that is why today we are having a look at the area rule, which gives us a second option to determine the area of a triangle. In this formula, we need side A and B and angle C. And if you go and have a look on our sketch, side A and B and angle C means it has to be the included angle. Therefore, the area rule can be used if you already have two sides and the included angle. Let's have a look at examples where we use this rule. Example 1. In triangle ABC, AC is 28 centimeters, BC 22 centimeters, and angle C 97 degrees. Calculate the area of the triangle. For this triangle, we do not have any perpendicular height, so we'll have to use the area rule. Here we are given two sides and the included angle, which is exactly what's needed to use the area rule. So our area rule will be a half multiplied by the two sides, which will be A and B, multiplied with sin of the included angle C. Now we can substitute. So we will have a half multiplied by 22, multiplied with 28, and then sin of 97. This means that the area of this triangle is 305,7 centimeters squared. Example 2. In triangle DEF, DE is 6, DF 8, and EF 9. Calculate the area of the triangle. In this triangle, we do not have any perpendicular height, but we also don't have any angles. Therefore, at the moment, neither of the two formulas for area are possible. Here we did, however, receive all three of the side lengths. And when you have all three side lengths, you can use the cos rule to determine an angle. Because we have all three sides, we can choose which angle we want to use as our included angle for the area rule. And I'm going to use angle F. In the cos rule, I'm then going to start and end with side and angle F. So my cos rule will be F squared is equal to D squared plus E squared minus 2 times D times E times cos of angle F. Substituting, we will then have 6 squared is equal to 9 squared plus 8 squared, minus 2 times 9 times 8, times cos of angle F. Next, we can then get cos of F alone on the right-hand side and simplify. And then using our reference angle, we determine the value for F in the first quadrant. Now that we have angle F, we can determine the area using our two sides as well as the included angle. So the area rule can be rewritten as a half multiplied by D multiplied by E and sin of F. Now we can substitute the information. So we'll have a half multiplied with nine multiplied by eight and then sin of 40,8 degrees. Therefore, the area of this triangle will be 23,52 units squared. 
Next, we'll have a look at an example where the area of the triangle is given and one of the dimensions of the triangle is our unknown. Example 3. Triangle ABC has an area of 400 centimeters squared. AB is 30 centimeters and BC 40 centimeters. Calculate the size of B if B is an acute angle. As I've mentioned, here the area of the triangle is given along with two of the three dimensions normally used to calculate the area. It always helps to get a picture in mind. Here we were given that AB is 30 centimeters and BC 40 centimeters. We are asked to determine the size of angle B if it is an acute angle. Angle B is the included angle of side A and side C and that is why the area of this triangle can be calculated using the formula a half multiplied by A and by C multiplied with sin of B. Here it was given that the area is 400 centimeters squared and that can be substituted on the left hand side of the formula. And on the right, we also have that A is 40 centimeters and C 30. And now we can solve sin of B. To solve B here, we firstly need to get sin B alone by dividing the 400 by 600. And this can then be simplified to 2 over 3. They've mentioned that B is an acute angle and therefore the value in the first quadrant will be our final answer and that is 41,81 degrees.